When opening up Parent Square on mobile, you can see the layout has your home button, your messages, your events, your calendars, your media, where you would find your photos, videos, or files, and a more button where you can find the header for explore and its subpages, as well as participate in the subpages that you also see on the website. When you click the plus button in the right hand corner, you'll open a new message. When you click on message, you can begin to type in the name of the person that you want to send the message to. Once you begin typing, their name will pop up. You can select their name and begin to type a message. The paper clip to the left of the message box is where you can attach a file or an image and then click send. This little magnifying glass at the top of the page is where you would search for your posts or alerts for a specific item. And when you click the three lines in the upper left hand corner, it takes you to another menu where you have students, your schools, your students' classes, your account, your about information of the app, and then your health information. When you look at your account and click on my account, you can see your information. When you click on edit, you can see that you can edit your name, but you still need to call your school to edit your phone number or your address or email. By clicking on preferences, you get your notification settings that you can then adjust. You can toggle the button to automatically add your events to your calendar and click accept. You can click notification settings to adjust which notifications that you receive on your phone for the schools and the district. You can also adjust them for your email and your text as well as your school alerts. And that is how you use the mobile app for Parent Square.